आई एम डॉक्टर अन्नपूर्णा सीनियर कंसल्टेंट गायनेक ऑंकोलॉजिस्ट फ्रॉम श्री शंकरा कैंसर हॉस्पिटल बेंगलुरु हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर अरुणा आई एम फ्रॉम द रिसर्च सेंटर ऑफ श्री शंकरा कैंसर हॉस्पिटल सो टुडे वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस अबाउट ओवेरियन कैंसर एंड एज यू नो ओवेरियन कैंसर इज द सेकेंड मोस्ट कॉमन गायनिक कैंसर दैट वी सी इन इंडिया टुडे it's increasing day by day and last the first year. being the first being cervix okay and uh, in gynec cancers and the second being ovarian cancer and it's been seen that last few years it's increasing at a tremendous pace these cancers and last year they have noted 26% increase in incidence that's a lot yes and uh, the sad part is that these women present to us in late stages and uh, this is because sometimes they are asymptomatic that is without any symptoms other times they have very non specific symptoms which makes them go to other doctors consult other doctors and in meanwhile by the time they present to us they come in advanced stages of stage 3 and stage 4 So the present treatment for ovarian cancers is the surgery we try to uh, remove the tumor completely and then give them chemotherapy to take care of the microscopic disease this gives them a good life span uh, in the sense that they have they get back to their regular activities they do they get back to their regular life but what we have seen uh, runa is that it comes back that is what we call chemo resistance there's a big thing that after treating removing the tumor completely after treating it with chemotherapy for 6 cycles again they get back to us within some people come back within 6 months some people take 2 years or 1 year depends from person to person from the what we call it depends on the tumor biology to get back the disease so what bothers us is this chemo resistance and this chemo resistance ultimately leads to death of the patient and we lose the patient and that is very sad so the research world over over the last two decades is dedicated to improving the ways or how do we overcome this chemo resistance so at shankara we have started one clinical project where we uh, after doing a complete cyto reduction or after removing the disease completely from the abdomen we ins- uh, instill chemotherapy medicine and uh, we are seeing whether these women are having a better quality of life and they are coming i mean their rate of coming back of disease is prolonged or not is there any difference in this or not is what we are doing the research on Rick Aruna we are also doing our works on other uh, parts of chemo resistance and how are we doing it yeah um like you said uh, anapurna the burning unmet clinical need in ovarian cancer and most gynec cancers seems to be the problem with resistance to therapy and the disease continues yes. to progress so, so we at uh, shankara cancer research lab we have taken a few molecular approaches to address these uh, questions first and the foremost to build patient cohorts that will enable us to do longitudinal observational studies uh, from the patient tumor specimens that we get into this cohort and the patients are followed up for long term clinical outcomes um in addition to that we are also trying to do multi omic level analysis at the level of dna rna and protein to understand what are the uh, molecular intrinsic subclasses within all of the gynec cancers and what is actually contributing to therapy resistance uh, is it the dna damage repair pathway the homologous recombination repair defects mm-hmm. um the brca1 mutational burden brca1 and the related genes mutational burden 
Um, and of course, we are also trying to build model systems derived from the patient sample. They are uh, spheres or organoids that we work very closely in collaboration with the Indian Institute of Science. We are building these model systems that will enable us to interrogate specific pathways and mechanisms of resistance. And this will allow us to identify novel targets for therapy. We work uh, very closely in collaboration with the Indian Institute of Science for uh, this kind of work. Mm -hmm. And all of this ultimately will come together when we do the clinical correlations and probably understand the therapy resistance mechanisms better. We have an ongoing collaboration with uh, Dr. Madhusudan from Nottingham University in this regard. And we hope to bring together all of this, the model systems work and the multiomics work and correlate with clinical outcomes that comes from the clinical side. And hopefully we will have uh, opportunities to find uh, targets, novel targets or methods of uh, drug repurposing uh, to understand how to stratify patients better for different targeted therapies. All of these approaches finally will help us to bring precision oncology a little closer, little more closer into the clinic. So together at Shankara, we are trying to understand the ovarian cancer better, the tumor biology better, and to understand its therapy resistance mechanisms at a molecular level, and we will probably be able to stratify patients better for better therapies. Thank you. Thank you.